Hey guys, this is RV and today I'm going to show you a little tutorial on how to set up your computer when you want to play some Connor Forces, some kind of strike obviously. I'm going to show you the optimal settings and everything you need to know on how to play proper Counter Strike. So even before going the game, there's a lot of things you have to set up. Um, for me it takes me about like 5 minutes, 10 minutes to set it up, but for you it might take a little bit unless you follow my guide. Which is awesome! And at the moment I'm making this video, I have no idea how I'm gonna call my guides and stuff. Um, I'm thinking Harvey says go Academy, um, Harvey Guides, RV Tips. That's my three options. Put it in the comment, the one you prefer, and I'm, I'm having like a little intro and overlay done. Hopefully it's gonna be cute enough. Alright, let's switch my overlay to the desktop because I'm gonna show you straight from the start what you should do. I'm using a pretty old Windows, I think I have a Windows 7. Um, you can also use Windows 10. If you use Windows 10, you need to disable the DVR, uh, Xbox DVR options or something. Uh, I don't have it on this computer, but it's very simple. You go to your Xbox um, options. When you type like here, you can type like Xbox. All right? It's as simple as that. Um, then when you're in the Xbox settings, uh, there's a DVR or Game Ready or something like that options. You go into the settings and you disable all of that. If you open your Counter-Strike and this is enabled, it will give you a warning anyway. It will say like, oh my god, you like remove your Xbox stuff, you idiot. Um, so at least you know that. Second thing you need to change right away, if you're not to newbie, you go to your mouse settings so you can open them or searching or doing whatever. Am I even in the right options right now? I don't seem like I am in the right options. All right, let's leave. Let's leave, people. Okay, let's go to control panel. All right, you can open it in control panel. Usually in Windows 10, you can just write mouse and it opens as well. Can't find it right now. Um, so on Windows 7, you just go to mouse here. This is on all windows, you just gotta find your mouse property. You click on the pointer option and you remove this checkbox, enhance point of precision. Uh, it's extremely important, you will feel a difference in your sensitivity when you use that. I've never seen a CS player that uses it. Remove that shit. So you can also change your pointer speed. I personally don't change anything. It's the default middle position. Um, you can check your favorite player and see if they're using default windows, which is usually six. Let's see if that changed. That didn't change. So it's six out of 11. Um, I suggest keeping the default and playing with your mouse DPI instead. Okay, so that's step number two. Step number three, Nvidia control panel. Um, I've always used NVIDIA my whole life, so I have no idea how to change these settings on AMD. I do not believe a lot of pro players are playing with AMD, but what you need to do in your NVIDIA control panel is change your 3D settings. This is crucial for your Counter-Strike experience. First of all, a little tip, always start with the bottom because every time you change an option and like removes the bar up and it's actually pretty annoying so i suggest going to the bottom um i don't change a lot anymore i used to change a, like everything uh for the past year and a half but um i i just use hiko's config right now so well at least the one he was using like two months ago um so vertical sinks is off Super important, obviously. Um, this will change your sense and change a bunch of things, so please keep it off. Uh, buffering and off too. And then these two add on. And the other thing I actually change is the quality. I put it at high performance and not high quality. Uh, what else do I change? I change the power management mode to prefer maximum performance instead of default. And I changed the uh, single display performance instead of multiple display. Um, so that's all changed. And the rest is preference. Um, you could also use, where is, here, preferred refresh rates. You could put it highest available. Um, in the adjust the stop size and position, depending on how you play, you need to change those. I play um, stretch, 1280 stretch. 
This means if I just change it in the game, usually it stays with black bar. I do not use black bars. I use stretch, and I'll show you in the game later. So what happens is I need to put it to full screen, not aspect ratio, which is usually the default option, and I need to put it on GPU, sometimes it's not on GPU, and I need to check box overwrite the scaling mode set by games and programs. If you don't use my resolution and use native, you do not have to worry about that. This is also where you can change your refresh rate uh, for your desktop, um, and your games, if you don't force it in the games, uh, it's important to change it for your desktop. It will help your eyes. It will. So if you do a lot of like video watching or whatever you do, it will help your eyes change your refresh rate. Um, it's not something that you will notice, but it's something that... Um, actually, that's a lie. It's not something that you visually will notice, but it's something you will physically notice, meaning your eyes will feel much better when they have a higher refresh rate because they will be less tired, etc, etc, etc. Please change your refresh rate. It's important. If you do not have a 120 or 144 hertz monitor, you are in need of one. It will change your life. I heard there was even 200 something hertz monitor that came out um, not a long time ago. It will change your life. It is so important to have a good quality monitor. I cannot play with anything else. Like, cannot. Like, even when it's not Counter-Strike. Okay, and then there's other people that change the desktop color settings. I used to change that all the time. Um, I used to change like the contrast and the brightness and everything. Now, sometimes I play with digital vibrance up or not. I don't know. Like, I used to have 100. I don't like it. Some events I keep with 50. Right now, on this monitor, I have 90. I play between 50 and 90. Um, I don't see that much of a difference. Well, I see the difference, but I don't, it doesn't affect my gameplay that much. It depends on the quality of the monitor and the computer. Um, so yeah, so that's my settings in game. Then, something that's super important, depending on the mouse you have, is your drivers. Um, if you use something like Razer and Seal Series, you need to download new drivers every time and adjust your DPI on your mouse. Uh, it will make a huge difference if you play with a low DPI. I use 400 DPI. Most players use 400 or 800 in Counter Strike. I would think that in other games like League of Legends, they will use 800 or 1600 because it doesn't really matter as much. But in Counter Strike, it's super important. Let me go back to full camera here. Because I'm using the Zowie, I don't need to download drivers. I just have to click on the bottom part of my Zowie and I can change the DPI this way. Um, red means 400. So I'm using currently the FK1 Plus. I switched from the Decider that I've been using for years. Um, and before that, I was using Still Series for years. So I've went through a lot of brands. The only brands I haven't tried is the Final Mouse and the Logitech. Um, but the other brands, um, I have my favorite mouse on each brand, and this is my favorite mouse so far. I also got a FK1, not plus, so I'm going to try to compare both, and I got a Z8 11 over there, which I'm going to do a review of all of those very soon. Um, so, let's go back to desktop real quick. Now that you've done all your peripheral settings, it's time to do uh, the Counter-Strike settings. And on that note, I will leave everything else for another video where I will show you all the Counter-Strike settings because that's a long time to do a lot of stuff. Peace!